Max Factor. This is my reveal for your dark magic eye essentials. I'd also like to thank Influencer for sending me the You and Max Factor package. I hope you like it. For you guys who are interested to be a member of Influencer, please download the application on your app, search for Influencer, and then fill in the details that they need. Hi guys! I think this is a good beginning of something really, really bright. <laughs> I'm, I'm very ecstatic because I've received a surprise package. I received a call yesterday actually from Aramex informing me that there's a package being delivered to me. And so because I wasn't expecting anything at all. And then I realized that when I was in the US, one of the vloggers friends I have, she said, you know, you can, I'm, I'm sending you a link where you can actually be a member. It took me time because I was thinking I'm not really, I might not be qualified for it because uh, I had to register my Instagram account and I don't really post on Instagram. I only would post on Facebook mostly. Um, it's a beautiful package when I opened it, when I opened it from, yeah, I saw the Max Factor. On the other side of the box, do you see this? It's, it's, it's influencer. <laughs> influencer. So guys, um, I would highly recommend that you be a member of Influencer so they could profile you if you're a vlogger or a blogger. So they send you freebies like this and in a box. Max Factor had sent me three items. Thank you, Influencer. You're the best. So happy. Oh, it is Influencer. So surprised. So Thank you, Influencer. can't read this obviously but that's a very that's, that's yeah a for a start for a beginner it's really nice thank you max factor it's so nice of you to send me this package three items the brow palette the um, waterproof eyeliner and of course the dark magic mascara and we have to sign from these boxes <laughs> dark magic and because I want to show Max Factor how thankful I am, I want to post a picture of me on Instagram having this on my eyes. And, and then I'm going to post this vlog also. That's the reason why I'm doing this vlog right now. So this is going to be a bit special because I'm not a, a makeup channel. I'm not a makeup vlogger. But so first things first, face means. So primer. Okay, so you know what? Instead of facing a mirror, which is sideways, I'm seeing myself anyway on the camera. I'm using my mobile camera. I'd rather take advantage of whatever is in front of me and then talk to you, keep talking to you like I'm facing you, like a normal human being that talks to someone. See that? Even my strokes, it actually be, it's very obvious that I'm not a makeup expert. I've not even worked at the cosmetic store. <laughs> But I do my own makeup on a day-to-day. -day. Just enough that I have lipstick on and then a pressed powder applied on my face and sometimes concealer because these days I get allergies because of the very bad weather outside. It's very hot. Please do not expect this is going to be a good makeup, a good, good makeup because I'm trying to do what I can. <laughs> And I get stressed about it, thinking about, I don't know if it's gonna turn out good, but bear with me, I'm trying to. Okay, so every time I put on my makeup, I like brushing it with yeah, the, the local brush. <laughs> I like it because it's kind of pinkish. Maybe I can finish that with just this. I have this blusher I've just bought right now, just a while ago. Imagine a girl or a lady, a woman that doesn't have a set of blusher for makeup and you go to events, I host shows and you know, you'd be surprised you won't find brushes, different set of brushes like this in my essentials, in the pouches. So I had to go to a mall and buy this today. But be, because normally when I go to an event, I'm not really picky with the makeup. I'm more concerned about if I'll be comfortable hosting on the stage, you know, stuff like that. Or yeah, 
is basically preparing myself more for I, I have to be presentable enough on the stage but it's more of when you're on the stage what to talk about <laughs> I was just laughing because uh, while, while putting on this makeup and all, I was just imagining the before and after would not really make a big difference, but I think at least 10%. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that, that to you and comment below if you're pleased with whatever comes out after this makeup session. Um, yeah, and again, a disclaimer. I'm not a makeup guru, so please be kind to me. <laughs> and by the way, of all of everything that I do, putting on makeup, this is the most difficult part because you know when you have to evenly draw a line on the other side, it becomes topsy-turvy and that's when I focus, give more time. Oh and by the way, as a reaction to the eyeliner, waterproof eyeliner, when I put it on my eyelid, it dried up just in seconds. So I guess this is pretty good, right? And See when I touch it, it doesn't even it doesn't even blot on my fingers. So it's waterproof. Wow, wow, I'm amazed. It's really good. And on top of my eyelid, because it's pretty much lined already, like it's see that line. I'm just gonna end up in between here. So I'm pretty much done with both my eyeliners, and so because I don't want to use other eye products. I'm going to try and do this also on my eyebrows to evenly darken it. So, ta-da! <laughs> and my eyes are done, my eyebrows are done, but I'm not done putting the, the eyebrow palette yet. So I'm just going to have to choose. If it's you, what are you going to choose? What much is my cheeks? I think I normally would use this on my eyes and then match it with this little lighter a little lighter what, what's that? it doesn't have a name though <laughs> it doesn't have the shade name so anyway I'd put the darker like a color to my eye like that so it just kind of blends into this line on top of my lid and I make it like my guide to put on the lighter shade Actually, I think it's a bit too dark, so I'm gonna retouch it to a lighter shade. I've actually never felt like putting on makeup is very, very difficult. It's, I think it only gets very difficult when you're very particular of how you put it on, you stroke your brushes. For me, as long as the outcome, the after effect is good, then it's good. I've decided to put on three shades anyway. Mix the this one, the charcoal and then a little bit of burgundy later on the peachy color and shimmery i think it came out pretty well so i'm just gonna blend in the the one in the middle the base and that is the pretty peachy shimmery thing so it's just here because i want to put on a little glow on my eyes and the lid has to have that. And I'm gonna put a touch of it also below here later. Voila! So with my eyebrows, I don't really have to do too much to emphasize it because it's pretty much lined well already. I'm not putting, you know, the usual jawline and all this nose line. Maybe the nose line, I could try that. Okay, evenly. Okay, I think that helped. Do you think so? Ta-da! And so, because we're almost finished, I'm almost finished showing you the after effect of the dark magic. Do you see that? The dark magic eye essentials from Max Factor. Oh, this is pretty straight. I'm, norm I'm, I'm used to the normal arch in here. So I don't really know if, if that's gonna help or if that's gonna be better than the normal archy tip of the mascara. But it says here, sorry for that, it's instant, it's for instant dramatic volume. Oh, the magic to this is that if you see this bristles type thing here, how do I explain that? Like an architecture design. Do you remember if you watched my New York vlog where, where I said that people would actually like the wavy type of thing now on an 
on an architectural design that looks like that actually. So on my first eye, I didn't actually use the lash curler, but I think it's doing okay. Ta-da! So I'm gonna complement it with some of the lipstick. I'm just gonna mix lipstick, I think, to match with it. So guys, if, if ever, you find this video on YouTube or on Instagram, please, please <laughs> get yourself a package of the Dark Magic Max Factor Eye Essentials. It's the Dark Magic Collection, yeah? Ta-da! <laughs> so I guess at this point, I'm just gonna say to those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please press that subscribe button right there that's in red and you're gonna see it in gray as soon as you're done subscribing to it and then of course that's not gonna take you more seconds to do please smash that notification you know that bell button right there down below right beside your subscribe button please smash that so that you get notified on any videos I'll be uploading later on on this channel and that's most probably going to be <laughs> a travel vlog and uh, I'm gonna make sure that you are gonna be happy going forward with the vlogs that you're seeing in the, on this channel because I am really doing my best to give you good content. It's all travel vlogs so far, um, events sometimes in between, and this is the first makeup tutorial sort of review thing for Max Factor. And so thank you Max Factor for really thinking to send me the package. And I hope that there's gonna be more. <laughs> so, how do you find it guys? Max Factor, dark magic from here to here. Thank you, Max Factor.